All right, it's time for another math easy example. Today we're going to discuss another video on uh, product rule for derivatives and look at an example word problem uh, on this. Basically, uh, before I get to the word problem, I just want to quickly recap on a product rule. Basically, it states if f and g are both differentiable, meaning you can take a derivative or a derivative exists at any specific interval then the function y equals fx times g of x can be, well the derivative can be calculated as uh, the derivative of f of x times g of x plus f of x times the derivative of g of x right here. Or in other words you could write it as y prime equals f prime times g plus f times g prime. And, and if you want to see the proof on this and also further examples on it, make sure to look at the video links in the, in the video description below. Basically, uh, this is the word problem that I found in my calculus textbook, and it's pretty, uh, pretty uh, neat. So I want to go over it right now. Basically, a telephone company wants to estimate the the uh, number of new residential phone lines that it will need to install during the upcoming month. Basically, at the beginning of the of January, or this is the upcoming month in this case, January, uh, the company had one hundred thousand subscribers each of whom had on average uh, 1.2 phone lines and uh, basically the company estimated that its subscribership was actually increasing at a rate of a thousand uh, new subscribers per month and then by polling its existing subscribers the company found that each intended to install or each subscriber intended to install an average of 0 0.01 new phone lines by the end of January. Basically it, it pulled all these guys and then some of them wanted a new, new phone line and a lot of them didn't. That's why there's a this really small number. And uh, that's by the end of January. So now the question is basically asking, uh, estimate the number of new lines the company will have to install in January by calculating the rate of increase of the lines at the month. So basically it's saying for the month of January you could find out how many more phone lines you, you could you'll need based on the rate of increase because we're going to look at per month so for one month that is going to be how many new phone lines you need and basically here's the solution before I get to that I just want to uh, s define some terms if we let s of t be the number of subscribers at t which is in months and also t of uh, when t is equal to zero this is just at the beginning of January let's just uh, define it as that so now let uh, n of t be the number of phone lines per subscriber yeah and then basically let uh, l of t be the total number of subscribers and then this would equal to well l of t is equal to s of t times n of t right here because this is the subscribers and this is basically the lines per subscriber and if you look at the um, at, at basically the units, this is basically subscribers, subs, let's write sub, and then it's multiplied by here by lines divided by sub. And as you see, the subs, subscribers will cancel, you're just left with lines. Yeah, so basically this is the function here. And then to find out how many new phone lines we need for January, we just need to look at what the derivative is or the rate of change of this per month at basically L of zero here. So we need to find L prime of zero, or the rate of increase at the start of January. And then we'll use that as an estimate for the total number of phone lines we need for that month. So basically to uh, solve this, we could just use now the product rule right here. So we just go basically L of T is equal to S of T right here. I'll just write it down again, N of T. Now, now remember, this is two functions in one. So we need to find a derivative. So now in this case, it's going to be now, yeah, it's going to be basically L prime of T times uh, equals to, well, derivative of this. So S prime of T and then times it by whatever this is, N of T. And now plus the, uh, this is going to be S of T and then times it by the derivative N prime of T right here. So that, so we have this one right here. And now the answer we're looking for would just be basically one, L prime of zero right here. So L prime of zero equals to S prime of zero right here times it by N of zero plus S of zero and then times it by N prime of zero right here. And now uh, these values we actually know it from the word problem because this is this is the rate of subscribers change and we know this is a thousand. So that's a thousand, and this is the rate that uh, 
Yeah, this is the rate that number of phone lines is increasing per these uh, the, the hundred thousand there. So if you go back up to it, yeah. So each had a one point two phone lines, but now no, actually, actually that is the one point two phone lines. I was look, I was thinking about the derivative of uh, the and and N of T. So basically, so this is the rate of change of subscribers. Now this is the the uh, number of lines per subscriber. That's one point two at the start and then plus well this one is s of zero or how many total subscribers at the beginning of the month that's a hundred thousand put a comma there and now times now this is a, the uh, rate of change or the derivative of the number of uh, lines per subscriber and that's from the poll and it's, they found that each intended is stolen average of 0 0.01 new phone lines here so this is for the hundred thousand so they're thinking about increasing that much more. So we just times it by 0 0.01 right here. Yeah, so now if we just multiply this out, this is gonna be, well, 1,200 plus, well, this is gonna be 1,000. So what this is saying, these two terms is gonna be basically, this is the new subscriber, so lines, so the new phone lines from the new subscribers, I was right, new subs, and then this is from the old existing uh, subscribers, 100,000, and a couple of them, or 1,000 of them want uh, new phone lines that are estimated at that uh, based on the poll. So this is old subscribers. And then the total, well, total is just uh, yeah, 2,200. Let's write that there. So this is the total number of lines. This is basically lines per month at the start of January. And then we could use this as an estimate that for January we will need basically, yeah, this 2200 zero, zero lines. So just write that down. So this is what the company would need. Uh, yeah, this is their estimate for it, so they should prepare accordingly uh, by getting ready to basically install that that many uh, lines or roughly that much, uh, get all the resources set up, etc. Well, anyways, that's all for today. Hopefully, you'll learn from this. Make sure you watch uh, related videos in the video link below, and also you could download these exact notes in the Dropbox link below. And thanks for watching, and stay tuned for another math easy solution.